Hello everybody, this is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions and this morning we're going to tell you a, a, just a quick simple way to set up the uh, Behringer DCX 2496 as a, a two-way stereo crossover and we have it right here. So uh, we're going to hit recall. I've already done it so I'm not going to delete it but I'm just going to show you how to do it. Hit recall. And you'll take the jog wheel and scroll down to 24, which is low, high, low, high, low, high. And you'll hit OK. Hit OK again. Hit the channel 1 button. Hit the page. And we're going to come over to the first page. And you'll see where it says input source A, output gain is zero, and output name is left low. I'm going to go ahead and change that to left subwoofer. And I'm going to hit uh, page. And because I'm using uh, PV SP218s, I know that they only go down to about 40 hertz. So we're going to hit the uh, parameter button. And you'll highlight, you'll see that default is 20 hertz. And we're going to go ahead and bring that up to 40. Now we got it at 40. We'll hit the parameter button over again. Because the, the high side, the default is like 1 kilohertz. And it's, that's way too high. We're going to take that down to 80 hertz. That should be 80 hertz right there. Put my glasses on, y'all. I'm having a hard time seeing this morning. That's 80 hertz. And while we're in here, uh, we're going to take it down to link. And then we're going to hit OK. Now it's linked to the right side. And the right side is linked to, uh, to output channel number three. So let's go ahead and pull that up right quick. Output number three. And you'll see that the crossover and everything's already set. So let's hit the page back and rename that. You'll notice that the uh, input source is now B. Output gain is zero. And the output name is center low. Well, we're just going to change that to uh, right subwoofer. Hit OK. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our tops. Uh, the left top will be on output channel number two. So we'll select channel number two here with the, the buttons right here. And you'll see that the input source is again A. Output gain is zero. Output name is left high. Well, I'm going to change that to left full range. Now it's full range. Let's go ahead and hit the page button to check the crossover. It should be if it's set. You'll notice that the, the low is 80 hertz and the high is 19.6. That's pretty close because I'm using Behringer VP 2520s for tops. They go from 40 uh, hertz to 20,000 uh, kilohertz. Let's go ahead and bump that to 20. Hit the parameter button. We bumped it to 20, and while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and link that to the right side. Hit the parameter button to the link, and hit OK. And the right side is linked to channel number 4. And you see that the crossover, everything is all set. It's uh, 80 hertz at the bottom, 20,000 kilohertz at the top. Hit the page back, and you'll notice that the import source is B. Output gain is 0. Output name is center high. We're going to change that to uh, right full range. There you go. We're going to hit OK. And then you'd come back over here and you'd hit store. And scroll down to an empty channel. I've already got it saved in uh, 25, so we'll just do 25. And hit OK. 
And because I've already got it saved, it's going to ask me uh, about, and I'm going to hit OK again. And there you go. It's set up and ready to go. I, I hope that helps. Uh, the 29th or the 30th, I'll have a video with it in, in the, back in the case. I'm doing a waiting, and maybe I'll have, have time to shoot some live video uh, at the event. And then uh, do some commentary on it after the waiting. Uh, so this is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions. And y'all have a great day.